But it's actually going to be insane, and uh, a ton of great players have already qualified, including my co-commentator, Bitch. Oh, snaps. Thanks for the plug, homie. Oh, snap. Um, but here that. we go. Game one of Blizzard Semis. Oh, after a rest. And you hate to see that if you're a Fox player. But you love to see it if you're a Chango Stango. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You do love to see it if you're a Chango Stango. Absolutely. Okay. I was also I, I, ooh, ooh, not quite. A couple percent. Yeah, very close on the platform too. Mm -hmm. I was actually asked. I asked Connor because I was looking through his like previous tournament history, like recently, and I was trying to figure out why he goes Fox or Sheep. Is it like matchup based? Is it mm -hmm. like player based? And he was like, you know, it's just how I feel that day. It's complete. Right. It's completely random, and this is how I just feel that day. Yeah. I'm sure to some extent the matchups definitely influence it though. Like right. you know he's not gonna wanna most likely go chic against Puff. Like most players are more comfortable with Fox against right. Puff easily. So right. there's there's a world where I see him if, if like this doesn't really go to his way. Mm -hmm. I could see like him trying Sheik just yeah. for, just to see how it goes. It's but. definitely possible and the matchup isn't insurmountable, it's just a tough one for Sheik, obviously. Nice jab up smash. Yeah, and it's, it feels like Connor's like speeding up a little bit, just in terms of like the the tech choices that he's making, on right. like ledge and things like that. Yeah, I mean that's the the spacey classic. Sometimes as you start off a little slow, especially at the beginning of a set, then mm -hmm. as it proceeds, you're warming up. Yeah, against a player like Chango, though, I feel like he's very good at holding his lead, and he might not give you the chance, right? Like he's mm -hmm. very good at being patient in these kind of situations. Right. And he's also very tricky with the way he does his um. Wave dashes in. He's, he stays super grounded. He, he whiff punishes really well with that kind of movement. For sure. Okay. Ooh. See, this is risky now. Okay. Uh, he missed... Oh, and another up throw. That's okay. Side, that side B actually took way longer because he didn't do the, the quick when he snapped the ledge. He might right. have been able to get a little bit more off of that situation. Yeah. Oh, okay. not quite. Okay. Connor's lucky he didn't get punished a bit more for that. Uh... The edge shenanigans over there. True. That really turns the tide of the match, man. Oh! oh. Okay, gets the tech that time, but Chango is on it. Oh, nice little grab follow up. Yeah. Okay, hard prediction on the upbeat going down, but Connor not doing it. Mm -hmm. Not quite getting a kill yet either, though, but that will definitely do it. Connor is still very much in this game one. Yeah. The ways of jumping out there have also been pretty ambiguous. That time it looked like maybe he was going to go to ledge, maybe come mm -hmm. up to that top or the right platform. Yeah. Just go outside and do that with the back air. Game one, definitely a little more important against Puff than a lot of characters because the counter picks are going to be a lot more polarizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, off ledge okay. too, you got to really respect the way that Chango is playing. Mm hmm. Okay, kind of slowing it down. Trying to go for that edge cancel with the side B, but Chango ready for it. Very yeah. smart. Okay. Shiner to shield. Oh, and he had it, but just a little bit late on pulling the trigger. Yeah, and he almost got shield grabbed for it, which mm -hmm. had been, which oh. would be the, the worst thing. Oh, okay, DI's off. Yeah, that was actually really smart from Connor. Mm -hmm. Made it very difficult. Oh, wow. Okay. He really, that was the tiniest shield. He tried to, he first shield angled it, and then he did the shield drop rest. That would have been, that's yeah. a crazy option to go for. I yeah. respect it. Connor getting some, so sick, some lasers in before that up smash too is actually going to unstale his other moves. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, you know, for style. Right. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one to get that far up there. Just very content staying on the left side using the platforms. Oh, yeah, it's suddenly the strong percent lead for the first time all game. Yeah. From Connor. Good timing to have it, but it is Puff. This is <gasps> far from over. That was so good. That was good. But not quite able to get the second hit of up air. Chango still with a chance. What's that shine wavelet on shine grab? That was so sick. It's a really yeah. good pressure sequence. But again, man, I like that Connor's not going in too hard. He knows that. A reversal is completely in the in the cards. Yeah, very very possible. Okay, does a forward throw. He's definitely not getting anything off up throw at this point. <gasps> Dash attack. 
Somehow? Yeah, that might have saved his life. And the shield poke. Uh, that's... Chango was definitely holding a little bit right, probably to set up for a shield drop. Right. But uh, Connor manages to get that shield poke and take game one yeah. after trailing for almost the entirety of the game. The Connor did a good job like keeping it ambiguous which side of the shield he was going to attack onto. Because right. it looked like he could have come in from center stage up uh, towards that platform. He said he went to the other side. And while he was shield angling, it just said, mm -hmm. super good. Smart stuff, okay. And Connor looking to carry some of the momentum from game one, just starting <laughs> happy. Did he love shield drop rest? Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, it's sick. It's a, it's a cool option. To I mean, go especially for. when you're not going to have to pay with your, with your life, you know, you're not going to die for it yet. So I don't necessarily mind the option, but yeah, he hasn't hit the two attempts of it that he's gone for so far. True. Oh, more shield drops. Okay. Oh. Man, missing an edge cancel right next to Puff. Yeah. Scary. Very. Okay. Oh, and yeah. That's yeah. So from Connor's perspective, you don't mind that much. You take like a little bit of a calculated risk there. If this hits, then you have a solid lead. If it doesn't, then you're tied. Mm -hmm. So not bad. Yeah. I love the way that Connor's playing on the platforms. It looks like he's gonna try to like hit him and then he just gets on there really quickly and does like a mix up between whether he's gonna grab or shine. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Getting the tech is so big because yeah. he's at relatively low percent, so a lot of people would miss that tech because they're not expecting to hit the ground that fast. Yeah, honestly, Connor's been doing an amazing job of not only with the techs on the platforms, but the DI in general from the up throws. He's not gotten up throw arrested basically at all. That's very true. That is true. Okay. Yeah, it's like one or two at most. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and that will connect. Point. So Connor keeping that lead a little bit. Staying by the ledge. Man, no right side platform there does make it a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just giving him so much respect. Yep. Ooh. That kind of delay on that dash attack was pretty impressive from Chango, and he's gonna take the stock. So Connor not able to get any extra credit there. Nice for Chango. Oh. Oh, that was an interesting choice there. Yeah. Shine sends the wrong way. I love that uh, regardless of how he's like dashing in there, he's always holding down. So like the back air and the neutral airs are like pretty much mitigated. Oh, oh get up, that's so that's... unfortunate from Connor's end, but also from Chang. I mean, Chang yeah. missed the rest. So it, that's kind of one of those. All right, we both messed up. So yeah. we'll, we'll take it. Yeah, back to neutral. Yep. Oh, that was so good. For the most part, Connor was like giving him a lot of space and he just instantly did that mm -hmm. compared to how he was edge guarding before. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, just playing it safe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not getting fancy there. Ooh, <laughs> following him all the way up there? Okay. I like it, I like it. Air to air, it feels like Connor's doing a really good job, like beating out um, where Chango wants to be. When Chango's like staying grounded, it feels like. He has a little bit more uh, leeway. He's getting yeah. a lot more openings that way, it feels like. Yeah, it does feel that way, which is not usually how you would think that of this matchup, but mm -hmm. Connor's been doing a great job in the air, and that is going to kill just barely, even on barely. Fountain of Dreams with the high ceiling. Yeah. That will do it. So Connor up 2 0. Yeah, I think with a little bit more DI, because he went like pretty much all the way there, as opposed to like one of the corners. Maybe mm -hmm. there's a world he lives in. There. Yeah. I think he just wasn't ready for that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely very unexpected. Mm -hmm. Dang. Connor looking solid. Yeah, we were wondering how he was going to do in the Puff matchup. Yeah, he's definitely looking comfortable. For sure, for sure. No um, sheet needed here. Yep, yep. All right, and Dreamland, of course, the generally regarded as the strongest Puff counter pick. Really good DI on the up throw. Yeah. <laughs> like kind of a slight, slight to the left. Yeah. So even that upper was like pretty oh. difficult to hit. Oh Connor my God. moving a little bit. Connor. Oh, oh my God. God. How did he grab that from that height? And he, try he tried to edge cancel two off the upper. Yeah, that was nuts. Oh man. Connor's feeling himself, I think. This uh, doesn't bode well for the other players in the bracket. If no. Connor, Connor gets too hot, then it might be, might be rough for them. Oh no! Just as he says that. <laughs> Just as he <laughs> says it. Misled that. Dang. 
Yeah. And then, ooh, shit. He's doing such a good job punishing the way Chango's been like refreshing his invincibility because he's he loves doing like the jump back air, mm -hmm. um, regardless of where the the fox is. And I think he's doing a really good job just like dashing in there and doing the up smashes. Then I'm mm -hmm. getting the jab up smash. Oh. I mean, it is very it is a very good thing that Chango's doing like this kind of style of like. Going to the ledge, refreshing, jumping, and then trying to get on the platform is very good. Yeah, yeah. Always, but he's he's also like respecting the fact that Connor has been crash canceling a lot of things, so he's not doing too much off the back air. Too. Like he gets the crash cancel and he just kind of backs away after the back air. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like with a lot of the openings that Chango has found, they only seem to be working like once for him, and he can't, and then he can't get that same setup because right. Connor's adapting so well. So he's having to try to mix up a lot of stuff on the fly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not easy when Connor's throwing out so many options right in your face. Mm -hmm. And now he's now he's even like switching it up, like doing a couple lasers like that really shifts what what you're expecting. Right. Okay. And yeah, Connor not trying to push this lead too hard. He's uh, racking the damage with the lasers now. Yeah. The thing is when, when Puff is doing that kind of like wave dash in, wave dash out, they're like pretty much looking for like a grounded option to whiff punish, right? So if you're just like way far back and doing like dash dances or something, it's wow. like pretty hard for Puff to do too much out of that. And yeah. I think Connor's doing such a good job. And six stock, obviously. God damn. Yeah, beautiful delayed up air there to end it. And he's only had two SDs to die so far this game. Right. But that's given Chango the slightest opening still to, to bring this back. Again, just holding down every single time there is really good because mm -hmm. like like pound I guess would maybe work, but that's so risky. Yeah, that's a huge risk, especially when you're down in stocks. Yes, yeah. it's, it's tough to go for that. But at this point, if you're Chango, maybe you do take some risks. I think you kind of have to, right? I mm -hmm. think you got to push it a little bit because Connor is so comfortable playing like this distance where they're kind of like one platform apart. You know, like here mm -hmm. when he's center stage and he's like one or two platform lengths apart. Right, right. It's like a really good distance that Connor's keeping. Yeah. And he's got to just push it a little bit more, I feel like. He's got to make something happen. But that's not easy. <laughs> easier it's, said than done. It's looking tough. I mean, Connor's just made this neutral look like a, a one-sided yeah. show here. Yeah, and even like that that back air, you, the DI wasn't the great. Oh, jab up there. Connor looking solid with the big 3-0 over Chango moving into losers finals up against high. So Dang. nice run from Chango though, did outperform his seed 